ಬಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದುನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೇತ ಗಿರಿಂ ಯತ್ಥಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಭದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನ ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಹಂ ಪುನದಪಾಲ ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಭವಧು ಸುದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬದಾಥು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಮತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾರಂ ಪರಾನಸಿ ಪುರವತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ವಧನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂವಿ ಚಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಪುರಾಣ ತಿಲಕ ಯತ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾನ ಧನಂ 
जस्मीन परम हंसमेक ममलम परम ज्ञान परम गीयते यत्र ज्ञान विराग भक्ति सहित निष्कर्म अविष्कृत तक्षिणन प्रपठन विचरण पर भक्तियामुचेत नर श्रीमद्भागवत श्रीमद्भागवत पुराणमल यदवान प्रिय जस्मीन परमाशमेकमल ज्ञान परम गीयते यत्र ज्ञान विराग भक्ति सहित निष्कर्म अविष्कृत तक्षणनो प्रपठन विचरण पर भक्तियामुचेत नर गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोपा टोल दोज हु आर स्पीकिंग दैट वी आर वैष्णव प्योर वैष्णव दे आर ब्रांडेड अ वैष्णव दोज हु आर गोइंग टू क्लेम सम यू नो सम क्रेडिट फॉर एनीथिंग दे आर डूइंग दे आर नॉट एट ऑल वैष्णव दे आर नॉट एट ऑल गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोपा टोल दोज हु आर स्पीकिंग वी आर ग्रेट वैष्णव वी आर बिग वैष्णव वी आर डॉन लॉट ऑफ सेवा पोपा स्पीकिंग दे आर ब्रांडेड अ वैष्णव दे आर नॉट वैष्णव आ प्योर वैष्णव दे नेवर दोज दोज प्योर वैष्णव दे नेवर डिमांड एनी क्रेडिट फॉर एनी Vaishnav seva, Guru seva, anything they have, any speciality they have, they never claim any, you know, speciality. Now point is that in this material world, material enjoyment, material facility, tangible facility is everything available. If if you have your mood, you can get it. But be sure, this kind of chance is very rare. when you can meet with pure guru vishnu you can get the chance to do hari bhajan this chance is very rare very very rare this human life is unstable any time you can go so we want to enjoy liberty in this material world but we don't know that we can also enjoy liberty in this transcendental world because this liberty what what which we are enjoying in this material world this is not actually liberty this is not actually liberty in the in the name of liberty we are going to put ourselves in jail of maya, maya devi it is not actually liberty it is not actually liberty we think we are enjoying liberty so whatever we like we can do but this is not actually liberty ultimately we are going to put ourselves into the jail of maya devi nothing else as per the definition of material philosopher i already this this point i have given in gomata book cloud cow slaughter book a liberty mean curtailment of your own right for the sake of other so that mutual interest can be protected and final goal can be attained final goal mean the goal of country or continent so liberty means material philosopher speaking is very nice <laughs> material philosopher speaking liberty means curtailment of your own right liberty doesn't mean i can do whatever i like because i am enjoying liberty that doesn't mean liberty means curtailment of your own right for the sake of others so that mutual interest can be protected and final goal can be attained this is the definition of liberty in this material world but we how we can enjoy liberty how but we can enjoy liberty but first of all we have to submit unto the lotus feet of guru vishnu we can enjoy paramarthic liberty but first of all we will have to submit unto the lotus feet of guru vishnu they can they can snatch away 
they can snatch away all your liberty. First of all, they can snatch away all your liberty, all your conception, all your understanding, all they can, you know, kick. They can first kick to destroy all your wrong conception, what you are fostering for the long time. Then after that, we want to be controlled by Guru Vaishnava. Yes. Ultimately, we want to be controlled by Guru Vaishnava. And if we are totally controlled by Guru Vaishnava, be sure we can get Paramarthic liberty. I mean, you have to remember the Kirtan by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Ar kano maya jale pari te cha jeeva mino nahi jano baddho hoye rabhe tumi chiro dim. Oti tu cha bhago ase bandhi hoye maya pase rahi levi krito bhave Dando yatha paradin. Ekho no chetano pe Krishna ki pa shindu jale Anayase thako tumi Hoye Krishna prema adhin. You understand? Very nice kirtan. You can go mad. Ar kano maya jale bhaktamita writing. Ho fish, ho jivatma, you are swimming in the ocean of Maya like a fish. Ho Maya, Ho Jivatma, you are swimming in the ocean of Maya like a fish. Arkano Maya Jale. And you are going to be caught in the network of Maya. Arkano Maya Jale Purichitu Jivme. Ho Jiv, why you are going to run ricks? To enjoy a very cheap thing. To, to enjoy a very cheap material enjoyment. Eh? You are going to take risks to put yourself into jail of Mayadevi, network of Mayadevi. You think you are you <coughs> you think that you are enjoying liberty. But try to think over and again. This is not your liberty. You are controlled by Maya. You have no liberty. Even your body, even your mind, not going to obey you. How you can say that you are enjoying liberty? You are not enjoying liberty. You know, you are just like a danda. Danda means stick. A stick, if, if we are going to keep a stick, lie down on the ground, can lie. If we keep the stick straight, you know, in support with a wall, that the stick cannot change position. That's why Bhakti Thakur speaking. Oti Tuchya Bhoga is a very, very, very cheap and dirty material enjoyment. You want to enjoy. That's why you are going to sell, you are going to sell your genuine liberty of your soul. You are going to sell your genuine liberty of your soul. And you are going to stay like a stick. A stick cannot move. So you are under the control of Maya. Bhakti Muntah was speaking, now still today, there is a chance, Guru Vishnu there, going to protect you. Da Aprakita Dhamma is there, Harinam, Mahamantra is there, everything there. Mahaprasad. Try to protect yourself. Ekhono Chetan still today, you can get back your consciousness which is lost. And you can swim in the ocean of Prema. If you can stay under the control of Krishna, loveful control. If you love Krishna from heart, 
if you love Guru Vishnu from heart, surely you are going to swim in the ocean of Prema. Ekono Chetan Pe Kishno Kipa Sindhu Vale, Sindhu Jale. He tried to arrange the full keep of Krishna, I mean Guru Vaishnav, and try to stay, try to enjoy the blissful, try to enjoy the blissful feeling, you know, condition of swimming in the ocean of Prema. That you can do, but you are not doing. Srila Baba speaking, you can get material enjoyment in any life. It's not a big issue. Any material enjoyment you can get in this material world, in, uh, in this material world you can get. That's not a big issue. If you take birth as a tiger, you can get the enjoyment of sucking hot blood and flesh. If you are going to take birth as a boar, beast, I mean, no, boar, pig, then you can take the enjoyment of, you know, eating nice, nice stool and urine. Follow. If you are going to take birth as a bird, you can fly in the sky and go sit any sit on any branches of any trees and you can have the liberty you can get you can have the liberty to you know to get fruit etc you can but only hari bhajan only and only this life if you can do hari bhajan then you can enjoy exact liberty exact liberty of your soul no, no, follow. Sometime you can take birth in a heavenly planet as a demigod because you are going to increase your Shataguna. When your Shataguna increasing, then you can go up. In Hindi, Gita Prabhuchan, I was speaking. This, this whole material world is compared with a banyan tree. And the tree is just, you know, we know in this material world, trees, their root is there down in the ground, but their, their root is just up. Urdha Mula Madho Sakam. Here, just opposite. Urdha Mil, Urdha Mul, my root is that up. I mean, Bhavanadrum, this material world can be compared with a banyan tree. And the root of this of this material world, I mean the material tree, and our Bhavanadrum as a root is the Vishnu. Follow what I say. This way, actually, in any life we can discharge our duty as a father, mother, friend, or foe, whatever we can discharge any life we can get enjoyment. And to, uh, to get, and to get material enjoyment and to, and to cut your previous bad sanskar, to get material enjoyment according to your previous sanskar and to cut your bad sanskar, you will have to take birth, you will have to take a material body. It's a must. There's no other way. You know, even we can take birth, even when we can take birth as a demigod, it is not good. Even we can take birth, birth as beast in this material world, it's not good. If we, even we, we can take birth, when we can take birth as a king of the material world, this is also not good. It's more risk, risky. We know as a demigod we can get maximum facility. But still, or even those demigods and all, they are also praying to Supreme Lord to get to get to, to take to take birth in India, to take birth in India as a human birth. Even demigods, 
They, they are praying to Supreme Lord, Ho Bhagavan, if our Sukriti is good, please give, please arrange so that we can take birth in India. And we can take birth as a human being. This is more good because as a human being, there is a, there, there is a scope, there is a scope to do Hari Bhajan. But we want to project ourselves as the owner of the building, owner of the business, owner of the mat, everything. Karta, doership. We have so many duty. We have no time to do Hari Bhajan. This is our condition. And we are going to collect a different result of Dharma by worshipping Ganapati Maharaj, Sankar, Devi Maya. We are going to we are going to get different kind of result, material result by worshipping Ganapati Maharaj, Sivji Maharaj, you know, Devi, Devi Maya, Saraswati material, Saraswati, we are doing. This is our character, this is our nature. This material world is busy with self-interest. They are so, they are so low-minded that they are always busy with self-interest. They are always busy with profit and loss account. Papa speaking. They are always busy with profit and loss account. This I can do. But, in, but what result I can get? What I can get in lieu? Papa speaking. This kind of tendency, business tendency, Business tendency is very bad. It is a very bad business tendency. Jagat Bandhu Bhakti Ranjan, one of the disciples of Prabhupada, and another Sakicharan Baba. Prabhupada wanted to change their business mentality. Prabhupada wanted to change their business mentality. But Prabhupada ultimately speaking, their business mentality, business conception is so strong that Prabhupada was bound to give them a title. Topmost businessman. Sesta, Sesta, uh, Seti Acharya. <laughs> Seti Aryo. Seti Aryo. Aryo man is Sesto. Prabhupada thinking, I wanted to change their business mentality, but uh, actually it's impossible. This material world, now at present our, our running mat, mandir, everything, society is just like businessman. We are going to forget our spiritual interests, everything. We are busy with this thing. Those who are karmi sampradaya, those who are material, maybe they are in the guise of sannyasi or charya, I am not going to speak in details. But karmi sampradaya, niti, their niti, their principle is that profit and loss account. Money, 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 sweeter than honey. They are going to karmi, they are going to do anything. But in return they like to get something. Otherwise they cannot do. In the material world, you can find in different countries, not in our country, in your country also. In the name of in 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 the name of selfless seva. In your country also, in our country everywhere. In the name of selfless, in the name of selfless seva. Eh. Selfless seva. Self-interestless seva. Somebody going to put banner that we are going to do charitable institute. But you can search, you can peep into their heart, into their dirty plan and program. You can discover that they are going to project the banner of no self-interest at all. But there is more self-interest involved in it. They are involved, they are involved in more and more self-interest. They are projecting the banner. 
very rare. At present, if you, if you can search, this kind of sadhu is really rare. Who going to going to spend all even single penny for Bani Seva, for Sadhu Guru Vishnu Seva, for Gomata Seva, rare, impossible, impossible. Next to next to impossible. Baba speaking, Bhaktaraj Prahlad Maharaj was also very, very against this kind of business principle. Baba speaking, Bhaktaraj Prahlad Maharaj was also very, very against this kind of principle. That's why when Nishingadev wanted to give something, you take something, benediction. But Prahlad Maharaj saying, what need Prabhu? I am your I am your free servant and you are my dear Prabhu. There is no self-interest standing in between us as an, as an impediment. No, I cannot allow Prabhu, my love is free for you, your love is also free for me. There is no self-interest going to contaminate our, our relationship Prabhu. Why you are going to speak? Well, you ask something. Then I told Pulladma I wanted to ask, Kamanam Hidisam Raho, Kamanam Hidisam Raho Bhavatastu Binevaram. You bless me so that no trace of desire, no smell of desire can appear inside my heart. This is my benediction. Well, even Pulladma speaking to Nishingadev, just to Ashisha Ashaste. Nasa Vritto Savai Vanika. Yastu Ashishwa Shasti. Who is going to get some benediction from Prabhu? I mean, in return, he is doing seva, but in return, like to get something from you. He is surely not, not a servant. He is not Vitta. He is businessman. Prabhu, if some sevak going to serve you, but in return, like to get some benediction or some going to get some uh, material benefit. Surely he is not your servant, Sevak. <coughs> surely he is not your Sevak. Shabhoi Nishchita Meva. Surely, Prabhu, surely he is a businessman. So why you, you know, insisting me to take something? Now I already explained that why was bound to accept this kingdom. Prahlad Maharaj was not at all ready to take any benefit, material influences. Even he was not ready to sit on the chair in the helm of father. He never wanted to become a king because, you know, those who are going to those who are going to ask something in return, they are actually Prabhu. You, you are my, you know, you are my Prabhu and I am your servant. Actual Sevak. Unconditional surrender. Prabhupada very often, Prabhupada very often used to say, unconditional surrender. Unconditional surrender, Prabhupada used to say. In the pure devotional field, this kind of principle, business principle, not at all allowed. Even at present, prasadam, they are going to sell prasadam. But it's not there, no such, you know, such thing is not, you know, there in the principle of Prabhupada. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Unconditional surrender is the, is the most vital point. Bhakti Niti. So, Bhakti Vinodhaku writing Kirtan, Prabhupada going to show, Prabhupada going to show this Saranagati Kirtan, Prabhupada going to show this Saranagati Kirtan, 
And Prabhupada wanted to prove this should be the character of a pure devotee. What is that Kirtan? Eh? I think you know or don't know. Because you are not doing Kirtan properly. Sarvashyotamar charone shopiya Parechi tomaru ghare Tumi to takuro tomaru kukuro Baliya jano humare very nice kirtan. Very nice. This kirtan can prove the hundred percent submission of a genuine devotee. Follow. I am the dog of my master. Master can keep me in the gate. If any if anybody coming who is against my Prabhu, I can go, 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 go. I can do it. Bark. Hop. Go. It is written. I can lead by I can lead my life by taking the Uchishta. I can lead my life like a dog by taking the Uchishta left by left by my Prabhu. And whenever I am going to take rest or going to uh, going to act as a guardman, I mean, you know, I am going to act give in duty as a guard. Then every time I can think the lotus feet of my Prabhu, Guru Vaishnava. And whenever my Prabhu asks, whenever my Prabhu is going to call me, tell me, I, 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 come, come, come. Then I can dance and, you know, shake my leg, shake my, you know, tail very up. And with full enjoyment I can run to accept the order what you are going to give me. I can never think about my personal bank account, I promise you. I am sitting in, I am sitting in Basasan. I promise you. I can never think about my personal bank account, nothing. Let me see, I am going to die without prasadam. Or let me see, I am going to print my books or not. Let me see. I challenge you. Because I know, my Prabhu is my master. My Prabhu can never ignore me, provided my sincerity is okay, my submission is perfect. So this way, Prabhupada speaking, we must, we must watch, we must, you know, we must very carefully see the submission of our Aparadha Maharaj, who is totally 100% in us, you know, 100% confident that nobody can do any harm to me. My Prabhu is there. Don't be busy with material enjoyment. Don't be busy with collecting so much money, position, everything. Guru Vaishnava can cheat you. If you are a cheater, if you are a cheater, then Guru Vaishnava can cheat you. How much money you need? How much position you need? On Radha's to me day, I can discuss this point. How much position? How much rank? Eh? How much honor you need? You come to me. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, O oh Prabhu, Krishna Swanu Graho Opie Bhyo Nanu Miyate Sattamai Sa Chavir Bhavati Siman Adhik Kritaibo Sevakam. O oh Gurudev, you are a great devotee. How you are going to pass this kind of conclusion? You are going to conclude that I am a big devotee. I am enjoying full keeper. But Gurudev, I learned from you all Siddhanta. I think you want to make full of me. I was not feeling disturbance. I was not feeling disturbance. I was not feeling disturbance when my father wanted to quit, put me in trouble all the time. You know, different kind of atrocity, operation, I, I already undergo. And you want to prove that you are 
leading your life very peacefully without anxiety. But believe me, anxiety was there in me. I was not feeling disturbance. That's why you want to prove. That's why you are a great devotee. You are not feeling any disturbance. You are not, you know, many kind of operation or and it was done by your father and uh, no but still he couldn't do anything so i was not feeling disturbance due to different kind of problems you know came in my life but that is but that is why you cannot say i am a great devotee because all big big exalted devotees like you those who are big big sadhu like you they always usually they are usually they are going to pass remark that on the basis of seva we can calculate on the basis of seva how much seva i have done how much seva you have done on the basis of this seva how much seva this calculation usually big big sadhu doing so gurudev i have done no seva you know it very well Only with with full of anxiety, I was remembering the lotus feet of Bhagwan. This much I have done, but I already started proved that saran sabanam kisanam Vishnu swaranam pad sevanam smaran aksha bhakti. It is also amount of bhakti. This is sure that Pallad Maharaj is niskinchan. Pallad Maharaj is nirmasar. Pallad Maharaj is paramansa. No doubt, because the condition, the condition I already is you know told in my beginning, in a sloka. You can try to find out the, you know, find out those points in the life of Pralad Maharaj. Pralad Maharaj, Mahabhagwat, Pralad Maharaj, Paramansa, Pralad Maharaj, Gyani. Pralad Maharaj is no jealousy with anybody. Suppose you are making progress in your bhajan and preaching. I can give wide acclamation to you. I can never feel jealousy. You can try. You can see. Well, you are doing so nice preaching. But if there is shortage of you know your acharan, then Prabhu can attack you. Be careful about that. First of all, acharan should be there. Speaking nicely, speaking sweetly, that is not a point. Point is that when I can speak, and at the same time when I have acharan, what I am speaking, that I am doing, that I am feeling, that is okay. Like Pallad Maharaj is not copper. So Simad Bhagavatam. Puran mamalam yad Vaishnavanam priyam, and in Bhagavat glorification it is written, Simad Bhagavatam Puran tilakam yad Vaishnavanam dhanam, yasmina paramangshami ka mamalam, gyanam param giyate, yatro gyan virag bhakti sahitam, neskarmam abhisprutam, tachinna no prapadano vicharano paru. Bhakta vimuchetnara, vimuchetnara ha. Follow what is it? So this we are very satisfied that Pallad Maharaj is a great sadhu. No biasness, no jealousy, nothing. Even he want to avoid the honor, and on which Guru Dev Narji Maharaj want to confer on him. Want to give? That I also like to avoid. Such a devotee who is totally free of any self-interest is really rare on this earth. That's why, anyway, Pallad Maharaj repeatedly, one by one, one by one, he is going to pass away, or different kind of honor and you know, glories, glorification given by Guru Dev. He want to pass away. Guru Dev, you cannot speak this way. Devotees can get rank, honor, glories. They can be glorified on the on the basis of seva done by them. 
whereas I have done no seva, how you can say? Actually, you can think about Hanuman, Hanumanji Maharaj and those who are serving like Hanuman, Uddhavji Maharaj serving, Hanumanji Maharaj serving, eh? Lakshmanji Maharaj serving continuously. So that's why Adi, Adi Mani, etc. Hanumad Adi Bhatta Shukapi Seva Kritastina Param Bhigna Kule Chitte Smaranam Kriyate Maya. Well, like Hanumanji Maharaj, those who are doing service, they are actually can deserve the full keep of Bhagavan. Not a man like me. I have done no seva like Anumanji Maharaj. Only, only full of tension, full of anxiety, Viganakul Chitte. I am uh, somehow, uh, 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 somehow I am going to think about the lotus feet. Remember the lotus feet of Sufi. This much I can, this much. So the kipa depends upon seva. How much seva done by whom? Which seva? According to that proportionate, according according to that proportionate, uh, you can say that he is enjoying kipa. But you cannot point out any seva I have done in my life. Follow what I say. Though we know savan bhakti, eh, savan bhakti is also bhakti ninefold. Out of nine folds of bhakti. Savanam Kirtan Bhakti is also and Smaran Bhakti also. But please don't try to apply this point in the case of Brajavasis. If at all Jasodama is going to speak, I can first do some Kirtan, then I can, then after that I can start cooking. Gopal can become angry. Well, I am very hungry. You are going to read, you know, this, that. Eh? So, Brajavasi, I am not comparing this case. Gradually, I can go and touch this point. If Jasodama is speaking, first of all, I have to take bath in the morning time before touching anything. After that, I can do chant anik and, you know, Sandha Vandan. After that, I can recite some stotra, everything to satisfy Supreme Lord. Then is very big danger. Parat Parakilishwar, Bhagavan is interested with Seva. If you do thousands of parikrama, what is your goal? What do you like to do? You can say that Sanatana Gosai used to do parikrama, but his parikrama is not equal to your parikrama. He was doing parikrama to get prema, endless prema from Krishna. Krishna is a thief. Krishna is a cheater. He wanted to get Prema by doing parikram. But, Baba speaking, when your bun is at present, there is so much facility computer, computer, mobile, dictophone, oh, so many countless facilities. But still, we cannot do that kind of bani seva. We are repenting. By the time of Prabhupada, you can calculate how possible. So many languages, so many languages, so many publication books and Dhanyak Nadiya Pudgas, daily, daily newspaper, you know, weekly, fortnight paper, monthly, uh, tri-monthly, oh, countless. Now you think, what was that dedication? If you can think over and again, then you cannot take risks to criticize them, the Gaudiya Mahat devotee, all useless. You are foolish, that's why you are going to criticize. You cannot calculate according to the situation created at present, everywhere situation at present bad. You cannot speak that way. You are going to run the risks to fall down, not on ground. You are going to fall down on a hill. Be careful. Try to calculate. Try to estimate how to understand their dedication. So it is the Yukta Vairagya Prabhupada. Prabhupada used to say, if my Panisheva is going to satisfy Krishna, then I am going to stop my parikram and going to do Panisheva. Same thing with me. I like to stay in Vrindavan 
in the forest. I like to enjoy taking Brajavasi bread there, but my enjoyment is not a big thing. I will have to think over and again how I can satisfy Prabhupada and my Guru Padma and Guru Varga. That is my target. I cannot run fancifully. I am going to put into barrier. What kind of barrier? Is the barrier of affection. All your affection, all your love going to put me into chain. I am under chain. I have no liberty. I, if I stay in front of you, but if I am not in front of you, same lifestyle. I cannot change. If I change, then I am a kapat. So if Jasodama is going to speak that I can pass to Stotra, after that I can cook, because there Bhajavasi, Krishna is in a loveful relation with Bhajavasi, is totally simple. We Gauriya Mart going to follow. But we must follow Prahlad Maharaj also basically to see his dedication, to see his submission basically. After that, you can go to the Kirtan written by Narottama Thakur. Purva Par Koriya Vichar. Mahajanir Jepat. Sei Pate Hava Unugato. Purva Par Koriya Vichar. Be careful. Prahlad Maharaj is our Mahajan. Pitama Vishwa is Mahajan. Bali Maharaj Mahajan. So I can follow Bali Maharaj whole day, uh, whole life. Maharaj, you misunderstand me. What I mean to say, try to understand. Our Guru, our previous Guru, Rupanuga Guru, Narutam Dago speaking, well, they are our Guru. Basically, they are established in Bhagavad Dharma. They are surely our Guru. But ultimately, we are going to follow Rup Sanatan. We are going to follow Bhakti Thakur. We want to follow Prabhupada, we want to follow Keshav Goswami Maharaj, we want to follow Siddha Goswami Maharaj because they are more near to us. They are more near to us. They are going to chide us, they are going to beat us. They are going to chide us, they are going to beat us. They want to re regulate us. The only thing we want to be regulated by them. We, we want to be controlled by them. Absolute controlling. Should be there. So, Purva Par Koriya Vichar, Narthamana was speaking, all Mahajan, Bhagavad Dharma, those who are following Bhagavad Dharma, we must follow them. But those who are more near to us, going to teach us Rupanuga Bhajan, Raganuga Bhajan, very close. Papa, Bhakti Muttakur, Kesa Goswami Maharaj, Siddha Goswami Maharaj, you know, Bhakti Pumapuri Goswami Maharaj. So, Purva Par Kuriya. Previous Mahajan, their activities, what to accept from them, because they are the Mahajan of Bhagavad Dharma. Surely you are going to follow Prahlad Maharaj. That doesn't mean I want to follow only Prahlad Maharaj. I want to ignore Sanatan Rupa. Not that. Don't misunderstand. We are not going to insult them. We like them. We love them. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to hear, used to hear Prahlad Charitra. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Purushottam Nam used to hear, used to hear Prahlad Charita, Dhruva Charita all the time. Oh, Gadadhar, please read. In. Prabhu, just two months ago, I, again I like to hear. Why? To teach us. To teach us. Don't jump into fire. Try to follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You like to ignore Prahlad Charita, Dhruva Charita. You want to jump into the ocean of Nikta, Rupanuga Bhajan. But you are foolish. This way you can never get the taste of Rupanuga. Even you cannot get any clue. Even you cannot get any clue of Rupanuga Bhajan because you are running wrong way. Totally wrong way. I can prove. You come to me, I can show. What Popa told Bhakti Muttakura, I can prove. Now, our Pallad Maharaj speaking, that the devotees like Hunumanji Maharaj, those who are doing, discharging their duties, so many seva, they are very important. 
Only I am doing, you know, rem I am going to remember my Prabhu, but that also I am, you know, full of, my heart is full of tension and anxiety, you know, what to do. So, there, you know, externally, if you discover, I am not disturbed by any operation than my brother, that cannot be the only standard on the basis of which you can pass remark that I am enjoying full Kripa Bhagavan. You know. So, Anartha Nibriti, etc. Anartha Nibriti, etc. is not the document on the basis of which we can pass remark that you are enjoying full Kripa of Nishingadeva or, you know, Ramchandra. Not that. Seva is the property. Seva Shukho Dukho Parama Sampad. Bhakti Mataku writing. Seva Shukho Dukho Parama Sampad. Nasaye Abhidad Mool. Abhidad Mool. Seva Shukho Dukho. If I, if I am going to do, if I am going to serve Prabhupada, if I am going to serve Prabhupada, sometime somebody can honor me. If I am going to serve Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, somebody can, somebody can, you know, kick me. Why are you are speaking this way? All the same for me. Somebody can speak, you know, genius, or somebody can speak beast, Januar. All the same for me. If I love Prabhupada, it is all the same for me. So, Seva Sukho Dukho Parama Sampad, Bhakti Mataku writing, is the seventh Goswami. Seventh Goswami, our heart is Bhakti Mataku. Our heart and soul, or the heart and soul of Gaudiya Mata is Bhakti Mataku and Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Don't try to forget this thing. Don't try to criticize. Follow. So, Seva Sukhodugo, Seva Sukhodugo Parama Sampad. How much Seva Prabhu giving to me, how much Seva Prabhupada giving to me, that is my property. This Gosala is not my property. This library is not my property. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. My property is Seva. What Prabhupada want to give me, Guru Bhargu want to give me, that is my Seva. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Bhagavad Anugra, the compassion shown by Bhagavan is like Satchidananda Sarup. Bhagavan is automatically Satchidananda Sarup. Bhagavan is Satchidananda Sarup and his compassion is always, you know, automatically factor. Like Bhagavan. Somewhere, you can see Bhagavan, somewhere you cannot see. Sometimes Bhagavan can manifest himself, like the case of Naraji Maharaj in previous life, Sadhan Siddha, Sadhan Siddha Narad in previous life. Naraji Maharaj speaking to Vaisdevji Maharaj, I was, you know, very tired. I took bath in a very nice clean lake. I was drinking water after they were taking rest a little bit. And very, very quickly Bhagavan came inside my heart and gave a darshan and vanished immediately. Like the lightning in the sky. Prabhu came to give me darshan, fraction of a second and immediately vanished. I was crying, Oh Prabhu, Agbar Prabhu dekha diya more. So Bhakti Tagur singing, you are not doing kirtan. That's why you cannot get the enjoyment of, you know, bhajan. Follow. Agvar Prabhu dekha diya more, bonchi le adhama dase. Bhakti Tagur speaking. One time you give me darshan and vanish, Prabhu. I like to do seva, your seva all day and night. Non-stop seva I like to do. Now, 
Naraji Maha speaking is about the case of previous life. Immediately Bhagavan came for a fraction of a second and vanished. I was crying. My heart was about to break down. I was crying and shouting, Prabhu, why you give me darshan one fraction of a second? I am going to grow my, you know, tenacity. I am going to grow my greed to, to see your lotus feet, but you vanish. Follow. Like the case in the Ratha Yatra chariot festival, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, nobody can see, only somebody can see. Only somebody selected person, like Raja, Prathabruddha, Sarvam Vartajajyo, Kasimi, so they can see, not everybody. In Priti Sandarbha, Jiva Gosai Bhar writing, Bhagavan can reserve the right of exposing himself in front of our sense of it. It is called Shab Prakashata Shakti. Bhagavan has his self-manifesting Shakti. Self-manifesting. Maybe in Harikatha, Bhagavan is present, but we cannot see. Sometimes Bhagavan can give darshan. It depends upon his own desire. So, in a chariot festival, Bhagavan was visible in seven sampradayas simultaneously at a time, simultaneously at a time, but not everybody. Everybody cannot see. Somebody can see. Selected. It depends upon the desire of Bhagavan. Jogamaya can arrange. So, Hanumanji Maharaj is going to give this argument. Bhagavan is Sachidananda and his compassion is also like Sachidananda. Sometime can manifest in front of the body, sometime cannot manifest. It depends. There is no regularity, there is no hard and fast rules and regulation about that. What to do? Naraji Maharaj speaking, I was crying heavily, then finally there was an aerial voice, aerial voice advising me, eh, Hantayam, oh, this life you, you cannot get darshan, my darshan anymore. Why, 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 why? Because your bhajan, is not matured bhajan. You are trying. And there is written that Jogo Randhito Kasayo. There one word. I have no time to explain. About Gajendra Mokshan, Jogo Randhito Kasayo. Kasayo Mani, any anartha already cooked, eliminated. Already cooked, meaning prepared, matured by bhajan, Jogurandhita. Abhipakka eh? Kasayanam, about Naraji Maharaj, about Naraji Maharaj, what was the aerial voice? Aerial voice was there. Abhipakka Kasayanam, Duddasya Aham, Ku Yoginam. What is the aerial voice? Abhipakka Kasayanam. Abhipakko, kasayanam meaning your anartho not eliminated totally. You will have to do bhajan, after that you can do. So this life anymore, you cannot take darshan anymore. Abhipakko kasayanam, kasay mean anartha. Some marking, okay, is gone. Still, some strain, strain. Your heart is not stainless. Some strain. Is there? So you must clean it like Gundi Chamayan. Abhipakka Kasayanam Durdasho. They cannot take my darshan. They cannot see me. Abhipakka Kasayanam Durdasho. Aham Kujoginam. Kujoginam mini? Kujoginam mean their bhajan is not yet regulated under the regulation of Guru Vaishnava. Kujoginam. Suppose Ramchandapuri doing bhajan. Ramchandra Puri have, have taken initiation from Madhavendra Puri Bhakti. So what? So what? I have taken initiation from Bhakti Siddhanta Sada. You know, I am a big monkey. I have taken initiation. This is called false ego. It matters little. It matters. It's a big issue. 
But still, if my vanity is there, it is of no use. So, Ramchandra Puri, Ramchandra Puri can claim, Ramchandra Puri can reserve the right to identify himself as the disciple of Madhavandra Puri. So what? What kind of bhajan he has done? If you go through Chaitanya Charitamrita, you can detect, you can find, you can find that he is full of anartha. He is full of anartha. You are full of anartha. At the same time, you like to find fault with others. This is the status. If I am full of anartha, if you like to find out the fault with others, you say, you know, it is one kind of laughing stroke. One kind of laughing stroke. First of all, I have to eliminate my anartha. Ramchandra Bori is full of anartha. He always wants to take information about what Chaitanya eating, how sleeping, how the, how the parshad of Chaitanya they are eating. Oh, so much prasadam you are taking. You are penniless. How you are taking? Who can arrange this? Are Maharaj, you are going to arrange prasadam to me. You take prasadam, take prasadam. Very nicely you take. No, no, more you will have to take. You are speaking this way. After that when taking prasadam, you are criticizing. You are taking so much prasadam. Who can take, you know, your responsibility? You are penniless, foolish. Oh my God. He is going to find fault with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. He is going to find fault. He is going to find fault with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. Follow. He is going to find fault with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. You are taking sweet night time. You are sannyasi. You are taking, you know, so much prasadam and sweet thing. So much greed. You are greedy so much. This way is going to... This way, you are so much greedy. You are going to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You are speaking to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You are so much greedy. You are going to take, you know, sweet... Uh, at night time, otherwise how I can discover the ants, they are flying, uh, ants moving here and there. Surely you have taken Paramanna, this, that. You are so greedy, you are sannyasi. So much prasadam you are taking. So much prasadam you are taking. How you are, who can take your risks? How much money you have in your bank? Eh? How much property you have? How much property you have so that you can take this, this amount of prasadam. How much prasadam? How much, you know, property? How much property you have so that you can take this? How much property you have so that you can take this kind of, you know, prasadam, heavy prasadam? You are penniless sannyasi. Eh? So, Ramchandra Puripad, Ramchandra Puripad, he is full of anartha. At the same time, he is going to find fault with pure devotees. Not only that, but also he likes to find fault with Sivan Mahaprabhu. So, Prahlad Maha speaking, Bhagavan is Sachidananda Vigraha. Bhagavan is Sachidananda Vigraha. Bhagavan can manifest himself in front of somebody or cannot manifest. It depends upon his own desire. Similarly, the compassion shown by Bhagavan is not going to follow any hard and fast rules. It depends upon, it's, you know, nobody can understand who is going to, you know, it depends upon Seva. This way, this way, Prahlad Maharaj is going to give one by one argument and be remembered the sloka I read, Param Vigna Kule, Param Vigna Kule Chitte Smaranam Kriyate Maya. Try to understand. Param Vigna Kule Chitte Smaranam Kriyate Maya. Yeah, Kriyate. Kriyate mean Kriyate Maya. A Kriyate mean present tense. Kriyate. Kriyate mean present tense. May I mean? Kriyate mean present tense. So still today, Kriyate mean present tense. I know. Prahlad Maharaj sitting. 
परम विघ्ना कूले चित्वे स्मरण क्रियते मया सो हि द बार हि द बार इज क्रियते क्रियते मीन प्रेजेंटेंस स्मरण क्रियते पदे बट एट प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो आई एम डूइंग स्मरण एट प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो एट प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो आई एम डूइंग रिमेम्बरिंग भगवान प्रहलाद महाराज वॉन्ट टू स्पीक प्रहलाद महाराज वॉन्ट टू स्पीक प्रहलाद महाराज वॉन्ट टू स्पीक दिस वे परम विघ्ना कूले चित्त स्मरण क्रियते मया एनो इविन एट प्रेजेंट इविन एट प्रेजेंट इविन एट प्रेजेंट इविन एट प्रेजेंट आई एम रिमेम्बरिंग भगवान बट स्टिल टूडे I am failure to get stability in my smaranakha bhakti. Even today I am trying, 